What up, tubers? It's KK Fan Nine here with another great video for you. I know you're so excited. I uh, just got out of work. Been working at Valvoline, and uh, this is about my fourth or fifth day, and really liking it over there. I'm still dressed in my work clothes. You see my shirt and shit over there, but uh, got another little uh, video for you. Now I've been having issues with my my Ford Focus. I know I've had a couple of issues that I've showed you and or fixed. Um, today, uh, the check engine light came on for a P0420 code, which is a inefficient catalyst. In layman's terms, it means your catalytic converter is bad. So it actually, it actually shut itself off. It's not on. I don't know why, but it comes on and off every. I guess it comes on and off every once in a while. But here's a here's a little test that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you to uh, to figure out if it's really your uh, catalytic converter that's bad. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is, uh, you see I'm kind of in a parking lot here. That is Advance Auto Parts behind me. And what's really nice about Advance Auto Parts is that they they let you borrow scan tools. Um, you gotta give them your license, pretty much saying you're gonna give them your license for exchange for the use of the scan tool. So if you try to steal it, they have your information. <laughs> so. Um, so this is what I've done. This is the 05 Ford Focus, obviously, and then this is the scan tool they kind of let you let you borrow. Um, not really extravagant, but it's definitely perfect for what it needs. So any so, let me tell you this right now: if you go to the dealer or if you go anywhere else where they're gonna charge you 90 plus dollars just to scan your car, run away as fast as possible <laughs> because this. Uh, Advanced Auto Parts, this little scan tool right here will do exactly what you need. This one only goes up to uh, 2008 models. It only works up to 2008 models, but OBD2, um, free. So like I said, uh, what I want to show you guys is how do we search, how do you know your cat converter is bad uh, even with the check engine light off? So what I've gone in and, you know, I'm going to make, I'll probably make a, yeah, I'll probably make a, another video on how to like create custom data lists and stuff. Needless to say, long story short, I created a custom data list for this car. You see the RPM, the coolant temperature, the catalytic temperature, the O2S11, O2S12. Those are your O2 uh, O2 uh, sensors, and those are, these are the voltages for them and the fuel level. I just put the fuel level on there just for shits and giggles. But um, engine speed. Now, what you're looking for for a bad catalytic converter? Note the the uh, the catalytic uh, the oxygen sensors, the O2 sensors. See how that first one? See the O2 S11. That's O2 sensor bank one um, bank one sensor one. And the O2 S12 is the O2 sensor bank one sensor two. Obviously, since this is a four cylinder, it's only got one bank of cylinders. But take a look at them. As you can see, the first one, which is your upstream, that's before the catalytic converter. That's the one that's closest to the exhaust manifold. That one's jumping all over the place. That one's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's managing fuel trim. Uh, rich lean, rich lean. Everybody knows in cars that uh, stoic is 14.7, and it's practically impossible to have it run at stoic. So what it does, it goes from rich, it goes rich lean, rich lean, really, really fast. But if you notice, take a look at the voltages on the second sensor. The second sensor is also bouncing around between, you know, maybe 0.1 volts to about 0.8 volts. You don't want that for a, um, you don't want that. You want it to be nice and, nice and stable. You want it to be probably around a half volt, maybe 0.4 or 0.6. You want it to be real, real stable, not jumping all over the place like the first one. Um, usually what that means is that your catalytic converter is is bad and you see the cat temp there I think uh, catalytic converter temps run between 1200 and 1600 degrees optimally you see this one's only about 800 so you can tell this one's just not performing like it's like it should so that's what's throwing the codes off but that is how you check to see if your catalytic converter is clogged in your uh, in your car the other signs and symptoms of 
a bad catalytic converter is loss of throttle response, poor fuel economy. Um, also, if, if, if your car is OBD2, now if your car is OBD1, which is uh, before 1996, there was no monitoring uh, past the catalytic converter, so there's no check engine light, there's no monitoring as far as that's concerned. It's, it was all before the catalytic converter. So, um, at least for OBD2, this is perfect for checking to see what uh, your catalytic converter is doing. As you can see, you know, the, sen the second sensor, the downstream one after the catalytic converter, that one is uh, jumping all over the place as far as, as far as voltage is. And I don't know what that little thing is there right next to the voltage. I don't know what it says. But I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's like a warning or a notification or something. I, I really don't know. But that's how you can check for your catalytic converter and not only that but uh, with the catalytic converter it's the catalytic converter is pretty much just for emissions um, what it does is that your car burns gas and what it does it releases nitrogen and and all this other bad stuff for the environment pretty much what your car puts out it, it attributes to smog and nobody likes smog and it's bad for the environment and all that so um, they put these catalytic converters in there to, to uh, work at almost as an oven. And what it does is it gets so hot that it literally breaks all the molecules between the oxygen, the, the nitrogen, all that stuff. It breaks them apart and cleans the air. Pretty much that's what the catalytic converter is there for. It's nothing performance-wise. Um, nothing performance-wise. Nothing uh, advantage-wise with it. Um, it's pretty much just there for emissions so and if your catalytic converter is bad if it is bad unfortunately this car is eight years old so there is no warranty on it but I think the federal warranty is seven years or seven years or 70,000 miles or something like that I don't know I, I know it's seven years but I'm not sure about the miles on it but uh, if it's if it's bad before seven years take it to anywhere and they fix it for free but Unfortunately, in my case, I'm going to have to buy a new catalytic converter. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something. But if you, uh, if you like this video, please like it, rate it, comment. I don't ask for subscribers, but if you want to subscribe, please. I'll keep videos coming. So, uh, you guys have a great day.